everybody, thank you so much for uh, listening to me. I always appreciate any time that someone decides to uh, take the time to listen to me talk because uh, I just really enjoy doing it. <laughs> this, uh, this, what you're watching here is some gameplay that was not made by me. The gameplay was made by my good friend E7YC3, otherwise known as Eddie, to uh, to uh, the rest of us. And this was originally supposed to be part of a compilation series that we were going to do together. Because Eddie being a uh, freaking amazing player, um, but he is primarily, uh, he makes videos but only montages. He doesn't do commentaries and he, we were talking and he said, you know, I got, I got a lot of extra footage here. Um, would you like to uh, make commentaries from him? I said, sure, here's what I'll do is, is, is uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start a series where you, you do the gameplay and I'll do the talk. I'll make people laugh and all that kind of good stuff and, and it'll be successful. And so uh, we, we, uh, he sent me one over. And then I had all my technical problems that knocked me offline for a while. And then uh, I got this thing. I recorded it and had a talk with Eddie. And he told me he was hanging up his purse. <laughs> uh, I was like, what? And he said, yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm getting out of the Xbox game. Um, I'm not going to be playing Battlefield, any Battlefield anymore. I am now going to be going on and playing um, just uh, on PC eventually. But right now, he's, he's not doing anything. So... What you're gonna be, what you're watching, is the one and the unfortunately only episode of the uh, E7YC3 Dash Strut series compilation. I wasn't even sure what name we were gonna use. We we're gonna work that out, but now it doesn't matter. But anyway, sit back and enjoy, and let's take a look at what this amazing guy could do. All right, so here, look at this. Look at this. He, uh, he's arming. He's resin. Uh, he's jumping around. I, I, I remember, um, what was it, talking to DCRU Colin about this guy. And the one thing that they always said about uh, Eddie was that the guy moves in console. There he goes, knifing the dude. He moves in console like he was on a PC. Uh, he His hand-eye coordination must be absolutely amazing. I think that's the one time he dies in this entire game right there, guys. I think he went like 19-1, if I remember correctly. Which, uh, you know, a quick rush match, you know, 19 is... Uh, not a super high score. I've seen this guy go over 100, but he only died once. Uh, so that's uh, that's that's a pretty cool feat. Uh, it's better than I've ever done, and probably better than a large majority of you who are listening to this has, has ever done. And if you know the guy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, he was a ball sort of ball player. Uh, I remember when we were doing the uh, the, the training for our Project PTFO with um, with Leon Trotsky, and uh, I got uh, Eddie to join in with us and as the, on the opposing team. And uh, us poor bastards, we had uh, we had Eddie and we had Cold Marines and Geigers and I'm, I, I think Mr. Mondi on the other ones. We had four absolute killers. And with Eddie and Cold Marines being the two top dogs, just absolutely shredding us um, from this. So it was uh, it was a hell of an experience watching those two guys uh, play together. Uh, Eddie with his 93R, he's just freaking deadly. He just was a deadly, deadly player. So, um, as I said, this he told me this is it. This He's not doing it anymore. And I actually emailed him the other day. I'm like, yo, man, hey, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, what's 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 the word? Has anything changed? And he's telling me, no, nah, it looks like the Xbox is going to be sold this weekend. So it's, um, it's a done deal. And it sucks, too, because one, the guy was cool. But two, every time I played with him, I learned something new. And that was the one thing about Eddie that I also really appreciated was... Me as a more of a casual player because I, I just don't have the kind of time to, to devote to uh, playing the game with some of the other fellows. Uh, he he took the time to, to show me you know some of the things uh, to do to improve what I was doing. Uh, and he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do it at all. Yeah, we're friends and all, but he didn't have to do that. You know, a lot of guys, a lot of guys don't give a shit. They'll just do their thing. And uh, you know, not everybody, but a lot of them are. And but this, especially on the high end, guys that are really really good, uh, they tend to. There he is, Armin, another one. They um, they tend to not really care um, as much uh, uh, about their they want to worry more about making video and then making money off of YouTube and that kind of thing. Um, whereas uh, Eddie was different. Uh, he he took the time to uh, say hey, you know try this when you're running jump like for example he was telling me when you're running in the console world jump a lot because it makes you get to that point much faster and it makes it hard, makes it harder for, for people to gun you down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, that's just you know, one of the cool things I remember uh, from from playing with him. Plus, uh, I remember the time back in Bad Company too. Um, he he was the guy that taught me how to uh, be a decent gunner in a helicopter. 
we were uh, we were playing. Um, I'm trying to think one of the desert maps, and he was flying the Apache, and he was really really good at it. And I got into gunner seat, and he was telling me, "All right, do this, do this," because I I had never really flown before. I was more of a ground pounder, and it was cool because I learned how to uh, actually use that gun correctly, and then how to uh, how to point out targets and stuff because I had never I had never done that before. So then when I went back to uh, playing with my with my clan, and I got in the helicopter. I actually got in a helicopter with Yat, and, and Yat would be flying. I actually knew what I was doing, and uh, I was actually more of an asset than a, a hindrance. So uh, I always uh, always told Eddie thanks a lot for every time he, he taught me something new. Um, and so I'm sure that uh, a lot of you guys, when you watch this, you're going to be like, what? He's, if you don't know it already, you're going to be like, oh, my God, why is, he, why is he giving up? I don't know. I didn't ask him. It's none of my business. But, uh, yeah, it's over. So leave some good comments for him because he was a cool guy and you know if you went up against him you probably died and it was just because he's really good at what at the game um so here we are in a rush and he's uh running around down here he's gonna res this dude and uh i guess you know you, you look another freaking ribbon god man every time i'm looking over at the screen this guy's got another ribbon popping up on the screen um <laughs> yeah he's like yo yo man i want to get in a helicopter and there's that other helicopter so what's he gonna do Jump over to the side. Woo! Here we go, man. Oh, this is the coolest thing about this map, man. Is that nice, nice, man? Just see how you turn around and look behind. This is the coolest thing about this map is the uh, is that parachute jump, man, and rush. You get to jump off that sucker, and that's like the coolest thing in the world. Uh, I remember when when when, when Bat Battlefield 3 first came out. That was the thing that everybody wanted to do was jump that freaking uh, thing, and uh, everyone had had to have video of it jumping off and. Uh, Oh, he, look, no, he died, but he killed himself. Um, so technically, no, I don't think it, it, it came up as a kill. Uh, and he got red, so it, it nullified it. There you go. All right, so no, he did he did go like 19 and 1. He only died one time um, down here in the building. So I remember, oh, if you remember the video I did from uh, from um, uh, the, the project, I did get to kill Eddie right here. When he came up, when I came upstairs, he was uh, trying to arm the crate. And I actually shot him, which is one of the very few times that I actually came out on top of him. <laughs> oh, but anyway, let's just sit back and uh, I'm gonna check this out for a little bit. Boom, boom, boom! Look at that! Look at that! There it goes 93 yard. God, he loved that freaking gun, man. Reses it, arms the crate, guards it while he's arming it. Off the door, out the door, runs around. Yeah, it's awesome watching people that are so good at something, isn't it? You know, especially when you like you try to play this game and you know you you may be okay, but getting to watch somebody like this or Enigma or Colin or somebody who's who's really really good um, on video um, because you, they they capture what they've done is it's really cool. Plus, you learn some uh, some some good tips on on what to do. But uh, yep, MCOM destroyed. I'm losing track of how many that. Uh, that he actually got. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and count this afterwards. He got what? At least um, probably 90% of them so far. I don't know if he got the first one, but uh, he definitely got uh, he definitely got a majority of them uh, in, this, in this freaking game. Uh, and I think he had a full team too. Look, they're trying to go through. They gotta wait. Doesn't that suck? You gotta wait uh, for that period of time. Uh, remember in Bad Company 2, we would just say fuck it and we just got run, run, run and. Uh, yeah, and hopefully uh, make out the timer. I think the timer is longer now in uh, in this one than it was in the in the in the prior game. It just seems to be that it's a it's a longer timer. Am I am I wrong or I'm you know crap? I don't know. But I, I, I it just seems to me that it's uh, it's a much longer uh, not much longer, but it's definitely longer. We didn't have to wait as long in Bad Company Two to, to uh, be able to run and hopefully not die uh, on this. Uh, well, it's a tank shooting at him there. They're running down the hallway. Yeah, he's playing assault the way you're supposed to play it, man. You um, you uh, res everybody you can. That's another thing, too. Don't you miss uh, back up, too, being able to run up to a dude and just freaking res him to death. <laughs> I remember once I was I res three guys. And I turned around as a medic, and there's an enemy he's trying to stab me. I had my paddles in my hand. I just freaking pushed him at him, and he died. Um, and that was, unfortunately, before I was recording. Oh, no, look at that. No, he died twice. Ah, look at that. All right, so it was two. I was wrong. Sorry about that, folks. I was wrong. I thought it was two. I thought it was a one, but no, he definitely went down twice. Um, but anyway, this is just about wrapped up here. So, 
Guys, this is Eddie Swan song. Uh, I think he's doing a montage with Jimmy Snakes from some extra, extra, extra stuff. I'm not really sure, but this is uh, the last one that I have for him. So uh, leave some good comments, please. He was a great player. He's a good friend, and uh, we're sorry to see him go. And maybe he'll be back, um, but I think he's got the idea on the PC like a lot of them are. So uh, I, I appreciate you guys all taking the time to listen to me. Please leave a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you decide to do. I'd appreciate it. And uh, give uh, Eddie a good sound off, and uh, goodbye. All right, catch you all later. See you on the battlefield. Bye.